Howdy guys, Riggs here. Uh, we are starting a brand new series of Transport Fever. Uh, this series is going to be called Fort Riggs. We got Fort Riggs right here. I'm using the map Greater Horseshoe or something like that or to that effect. Um, I will have a link in the description below where as to where you can get this map. Uh, if you haven't checked it out already, it is on Steam Workshop so you can just search it by find, or find it by searching the uh, Horseshoe. Uh, you'll find it. It, it, it takes place, uh, or it's a scale model of, I guess, uh, Canada and United States. Uh, so this would actually be Toronto right here. And this would be Niagara Falls right down here. And then Buffalo. Um, so New York, I guess. Or the northwestern corner of New York State. But as you can see, I have actually changed the names of pretty much everything here. Now, there is uh, several places that I have not named yet. And I'm actually going to be running a contest for that. Uh, so I'm going to do it in stages. So let me bring up a uh, list of cities here. Bring that in the middle. And do it by name. There you go. So there's a rhyme and reason to this. Now, there is no rhyme and reason as to which towns I left empty and bare but every episode I put out for the next five episodes I will be selecting an area of the map and what I'm looking for is a, the first person to comment with the proper answer of each uh, reference so where each city or town name came from now some of them should be pretty easy that might be a bit of a challenge. I'm not going to give any hints. Um, it could be from a, another game. It could be from a movie. It could be historical. Uh, could be uh, a place that I know, right? Uh, hopefully, it's a place you know, right? So, in today's episode, we're going to start off with this area right here, which is kind of, I'm going to say, the north eastern corner of our map. So the towns that you have to pick out are right here. Brigadoon, Bottleneck, Rampart, Farmington, Silverado, Deadwood, Perfection, Tombstone. I'm giving you Fort Riggs because that's easy. It's named after me, right? So with that being said, I'm going to shut this down now. Oh, right. <laughs> also in the comment. Man. I got this all written down in front of me and I still can't even put it together. So in that same comment, so we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight places you got a list. And the ninth thing you're gonna put down is if you are the correct winner, uh, the name of the town or what you would like to rename town number one. This is episode one. So you're going to rename town to city number one, which already has, it's actually the biggest ma uh, population here. So that is the biggest city on the map so far. Uh, however, we're not going to be getting to it right away. I will rename it. And I will show you where it is. It is right where Buffalo would be. So it will be a while before we get down to here. Now, one of the things that I was looking at on this map is, and I have tested it, is this uh, land bridge, almost full land bridge right here. You can actually fit a decent number of tracks and a decent sized highway on there, which means we can have a freeway, expressway, super highway, whatever you want to call it, uh, run through the map. Um, I don't think it'll come over here, but it will definitely come down here and it will pull into, oh, city number two. Now you guys know where that is. Anyways, today's episode, uh, we're going to just get things going and sort it out. Uh, I'm going to speed it up. I'm not going to do a lot of talking. Uh, I'm just going to start laying stuff in and hit the fast forward button in the editor. So I will talk to you all in a few minutes here as I figure stuff out. Uh, but before we get into that, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do uh, a loop here. Everything that every every new piece of equipment that we run out, so whether it be a train, a truck, a ship, a plane, whatever, Fort Riggs is our hub, uh, our for or our depot hub. Everything will have to travel from Fort Riggs to wherever it is supposed to be. That's going to be a lot of work to make that work. 
Anyways, uh, what we're going to do first here is we're going to set up a loop here. Uh, it's going to go uh, Fort Rigg, Silverado, Farmers, and Rampart, Deadwood, and then that. And we're going to have a clockwise and a counterclockwise route on there. Uh, we're going to have a line going up to bottleneck, but it's going to come off of this stretch here. Uh, so how many times are we at here? One, uh, including Fort Rigg is one, two, three, four, five. So we're going to use uh, a five stop strategy I guess you call it uh, so no more than five stops in a line so the next line that we would actually be doing is very simple uh, starting from the end here there's nothing over here one two three four and five right and then we'll have another one going one two three four and five and then Silverado right is that all making sense? So, same thing here, right? So, from Brigadoon, one, two, three, four, five. Or it could go one, two, three, four, five. And we'll figure that out as we go, right? So, anyways, without further ado, uh, I'm just going to go ahead. I'm going to start putting stuff in. Uh, just a quick note. I will not be making any passenger stations uh, any longer than... I want to say 200 meters. So just let me bear with, or just bear with me for a minute. Now I can't do 200 on this one, and I know 240 is uh, pretty universal. Uh, 200, but we can do 40 plus 200. All right, so yeah, so we will be doing no longer than 240. Uh, as far as goods routes go down the road, uh, we will be using mostly trucks. Uh, but again, trains, uh, passenger trains are going to be the first one going. Um, not every town is going to have a tram. Uh, just the big cities will have a tram route. I'm going to put an airport in for Fort Riggs. It's going to be down here. I uh, originally was going to do it up in here. But we're going to have a lot of train lines going up and down and up and through and whatnot. So... Uh, we will have an airport right down here and actually I'm gonna lay that in right now before we even get going um, so that's a freight one this one's got three road connections so we will have to get uh oh I don't know if this is gonna fit well golly gosh darn it That really stinks. So it might have to go down here. It won't even fit there. Uh, I guess we could use. A smaller airport. It's not like we're going to be running a lot here. So I I'm okay with that. That'll work and then we'll have uh, eventually have a road coming in I'm just gonna go ahead and place one in right now oh look at all these roads I got <laughs> uh, I'm just gonna use a basic small one right for now and we will make it uh, a bit bigger and better trying to say Ooh. what's the issue here I'll take out that building oh that's the other thing I forgot bear with me don't look in the bottom left hand corner of the screen yes yeah, so I'm giving myself some cash here that is the most I will give myself this entire time. If we can't build a successful operation based off of a hundred million dollars, we're not going to build a successful one. Period. Okay, that's done. So from this point forward, I will be fast forwarding. I will see y'all in a bit. <laughs> I lied. 
I was going to time lapse stuff, but uh, it just wasn't running right. So I guess it is what it is, right? Well, I did actually record a two hour video. And it was just a lot of footage to go through. And it's not that I didn't want to do it for you guys. It's just that there ain't many of you right now. So I just figured I'll just do a build and show. So I'll tell you guys what I'm going to do. I'll build it. I might make a few changes. Kind of like what you might see in front of you here. And then I'll come back and put it all together. Now, obviously, I have played it forward uh, about almost 20 years. We're going to go through the last year together uh, right now. Uh, and we'll go up to 1970. And then we won't put out another video for another week. Unless you guys want me to do them sooner. Again, you got to put that stuff in the comments. So whatever you, you want to see me do, put it down there. I might do it. So, uh, what have I done here? Let's, uh, okay, so when I left off, I had an airport here, a small one. Well, obviously I got rid of it, kicked it over here. Uh, this is the only airport on the map right now. We do have a freeway kind of getting in there. Now, one of the things I don't like about Transport Fever right now is just simply the fact that uh, when the cities are, are expanding, they can replace the roads. Which is kind of a pain in the neck. Because then you have to go back, change them out, and then it's just going to do the same thing. And then you get to end up whoa, with a crap like this. Where the bridges that you put in, they don't work. Because they're changing the roads. I mean, what can you do? So if anybody knows of a mod that I can put in where the AI cannot change a road after I put it in. Please. Put the link in the in the comment section. I will click on it. I will go there. I will give you kudos for like the next 10 episodes. That would be a big help. Uh, okay, so we've also got a few lines put in. Now, I've only got, I think, four lines total. And those four lines encompass uh, all the way back from Tombstone uh, to Fort Riggs to Bottleneck. It just... One big loop that hits. Actually, you know what? We're going to follow these trains. So what do we got leaving here? Okay. I'm going to turn the uh, sound down a bit here. Hopefully you can hear me better. So we're putting into, uh, wow, our first stop. Oh, this is our express train. This is our Fort Rigg Metro Express train. So this actually goes every second station. So it goes from uh, whatever we just passed. Silverado, and then next stop here is Farmington, or the first stop after it leaves Fort Riggs. So, if we look here, there is people waiting. 58 for that. Wow. So, we, we're doing pretty good. So the next stop it's going to be making will be Deadwood. Now, I, I, I know I have to go through and fix a lot of signals that are uh, out there and re replace and move some. They get pretty congested going up in through here. And especially if we have to add more trains down the, in the future. Uh, 
it's gonna get worse, right? So we're gonna pass through Rampart here. And it's gonna head straight up into Deadwood. I'm gonna speed that up a bit. Now, I do want to find a good mod for track reels that I can change the uh, speeds on some of these tracks because the base track, they change speeds. I don't like them. So, in the next episode, you can expect to see uh, some track reels and I will come through and I will fix it all. And there comes our yellow line, which is uh, off a real big loop. Our green line does the clockwise loop on the same thing. And I really like this bridge up in here. It looks weird, but cool at the same time. Nice big long bay bridge. So yeah, it, uh, Right now, it's coming back up into four rigs uh, with the yellow line leaving. So we're going to go ahead. We're going to jump on the yellow line just so you can see it. Now, we're running uh, the CN trains. Uh, I can't remember the uh, model of it, but this is a Canadian map, so I figured we'll use a Canadian train. I was forgetting to do that. Yeah, we're going to have to come through and fix this bridge. Like, I don't know. Like, it works, kind of. Well, I mean, it does work when the traffic is using it. Now, I've got to do something to improve the performance here. But there's just so much going on that it can't, can't keep up. So this bridge coming up, I actually had a little bit of fun making it. I am I just like the way it curves and how it's so high up. Like, I mean, doesn't that look good? So, like, that is a much better bridge compared to the one road bridge coming up into this area. So, yeah, it comes up into Tombstone here. Now, if I'm not mistaken, I did see another yellow line train. Well, this one has 100 passengers on it and the green line coming through right there as well. Good timing, actually. I'm going to turn off these signals here. Actually... I'm gonna bring up a different camera here. Let's ride it. No, that's gonna be too loud. So, it's a full train, 115 passengers. Not bad, not bad. Actually, that's pretty good. So this is our Metro Loop. This is like on, on a counterclockwise motion. So it goes to uh, Fort Riggs, Perfection, Tombstone, back to Perfection, and the Deadwood up in the Rampart, which is where we're at now. 
Oh, we are now in 1970. Well, I'm going to slow things down because we got a lot of cool trucks that just came in. Lots of upgrades. And they just keep coming. Ah, hovercraft. We're going to have to use that very soon. Alright, so instead of going straight up to Farmington, it makes this nice big sweeping curve and it's going to get up in the bottleneck here. Now, I do have a tram line that goes between Rampart and Bottleneck and it is actually a very profitable line, uh, but I just had to have a train going up there. We have to have a train connection on every city. Uh, just got to do it. And again, if there's any suggestions as to how to improve the performance, I'm all ears. I don't know if I want to turn the graphics all the way down low. I, I don't even know if that would even help because I'm pretty sure most of the performance issues are caused by the amount of traffic in the game. So whether it be uh, Motor vehicles, pedestrians, vehicles you're putting in. Alright, so now we leave bottleneck and switch over to the other side of the track. Which I might need to put some signals in down there. It's going to do pretty much a reverse loop. It's going to hit Farmington and Silverado, then come back. So we're going to get off that train. I don't want to run too far into the year uh, 1970 year. So uh, every, in fact, I'm just going to hit pause here. Uh, every town or city has its own transit network. Uh, as well as it's got a commuter bus that goes from Fort Riggs out uh, to uh, one of the bus stations. Now, those commuter lines are not making money at all. Um, I just put them in, and we might be cannibalizing them and just getting rid of them. Uh, so, yes, I did put an airport in. We do have a nice big bus station as well as a little tram loop here. Uh, I did like the look of this station, and I have some ideas for it. Uh, but those ideas might be going away, in which case we might not be using this station. It's actually doing well. You have uh, about 50 people waiting there for different lines. And then tram step isn't very full. Uh, you're not going to get a lot of people there, not with this bus station here and the train station right here. It's just a drop-off point for the train station. That's really all it is. And a, maybe a pickup point, but I mean, this is in the catchment area as well. And you got, wow, a lot of people waiting there. Now, what I did here on this road is motor vehicles can't pass up and down this road. Uh, simply, I just used, which one? Uh, I think it's this one right here. It's two road raids, 50k an hour, but uh, th there's no car here and it literally means no cars can drive on there I thought it was pretty cool and it's working and the AI haven't replaced this road which is also cool so I don't know what we got to do in order to get the highway to work but we'll get it to work eventually um, now the airport uh, I do have a train station in front and every one of our major hub cities is going to have a nice big line that's going to go between the hub cities and obviously Fort Riggs is a hub and it will stop here before it rolls in to Fort Riggs itself. Now there is a bus line that goes out here as well uh, because that train isn't going to be as frequent. Uh, I will be using a high speed train like a TGV or something similar uh, to get in between 
and we will need the tracker of mod in order to figure that out. So last thing I want to look at here is how are things going to look for the next episode? Well, in the next episode, oh, that's the other thing I forgot to point out here. So before we even talk about the next episode, uh, I want to talk about this freight station that I plugged in here. Now, I just realized probably about 10 seconds ago that we need... Now, I put one station for every final piece of goods. What I forgot to do was have another uh, line coming in for outgoing. Um, but now that I think about it, I might not do it that way. What I'll do here is I'll have a dispersal so from the so for example let's say we have uh, an oil refinery over here and a crude well over here somewhere so what would happen is the, you'd have a train come from the crude well and it would go to the refinery and then so that'd be one line coming into the refinery but you're gonna have uh, four lines coming out or five lines coming out depending on how many hub cities we have right make sense so then it'll just uh, pass through if it's not stopping here I like that idea uh, it is more trains I get it but it could work it could work yeah um, now I might put some industry inside here uh, maybe what wouldn't be a bad idea would actually no no I'm not gonna put them all here I'll, I'll maybe put one facility in here maybe a food processing plant in fact we could do that now while we still have the space to do it so there we go. Uh, we don't care about the production level quite yet. There we go. So now we have some industry inside the Fort Riggs G General or greater area and I will be renaming these I mean that one actually works <laughs> rampart food processing plant uh, we will have to put in some uh, truck stations obviously uh, I don't even know what all I have unlocked yet uh, there you go so we got the good ones unlocked probably uh, just use this and now how the hub city is gonna work actually I don't want to use that I want a large city uh, that doesn't do any storage that's a medium uh, yeah so how, how the hub cities work is um, you're gonna have truck deliveries coming out of out of here so you have truck deliveries into Fort Riggs, Silverado Farmington, Bottleneck, Ramford, Deadwood, Perfection, and Tombstone right out of this station. So that is one of the reasons that I didn't know when those all those trucks were going to unlock. So hopefully we can use them very soon, but I'm not going to focus on industry. I will plug in this line as we go, but yeah, I won't be focusing on industry until we are done everything else. Although it wouldn't hurt to plumb stuff in as we go uh, and just maybe do a quadrant at a time. Tell you what, guys, in the comment section below. Yeah, I'm just keep asking you for comments, don't I? Well, just comment. Seriously, it doesn't hurt. It takes 10 seconds out of your day. In fact, you can still watch a video while you comment. So while you're watching the video, hey, um, should I focus on area that we put together at a time like I've done so far here just with our public transport or do I 
want to uh, do public transport first and then get onto the freight when we're done, the public or passenger, whatever you want to call it. Let me know. Anyway, let's get back to where is our next episode going to look. We are heading over to this area right here. Uh, I'm going to drop the main line down below the ground and it'll come up in the Calgary here. And then it'll kind of go off over here eventually. Uh, but we will have another loop that hits everything in here, including a Brigadoon. And we will talk about that episode next week. So, if there's anything you would have done differently here, let me know. Uh, maybe I'll read it and be like, hey, that makes more sense. Or maybe I'll read it and say, this person on drugs I don't want to know about. No, I wouldn't say that to you guys. You're watching my videos. I got to be nice to you. Unless you tell me I can be a jerk. And in which case, <laughs> don't comment on that. Uh, I'm going to let the cities build themselves. So once we get the basic infrastructure in, uh, we'll come back as we need to and add more lines if we need to. Um, like, for example, right here, if we bring that one up and we bring this one up, like, they split the coverage, right? Now, we don't have coverage in here, but they can walk to this station right there, right? Or bus stop right there. How many people are waiting here? Whoa, look at Rampart, guys. Now, 82, so this is Silverado, 82 people waiting for our Metro Loop clockwise so our green line which goes up and then up over here and then back down here that's a lot of people the reverse we have 27 people waiting on that which means we just had a pickup not too long ago and then the red line counterclockwise express which hits uh starts fort riggs comes up to rampart comes in here and then back into fort riggs whereas the blue line comes up into Farmington, skips out in Silverado, skips Rampart, into Deadwood, and then in. Now, I would like to put another express line uh, up into here. We have the space to do it, so we might as well. I'll probably only put one train on there. Uh, but again, uh, that, that'll come later. Now, vehicles, are, we're going to, I'm horrible for doing it. So if I come in here and go into replacement, guess what? It doesn't have a replacement. I will eventually probably do it off camera, go and re have the replacement set up for all of our road vehicles. Uh, that includes trams, and then when they run out of their operational years, then... We'll obviously lose that, and we'll have to go and do it again and manually replace. Now, trains, we will manually replace all of our trains. All of our trains are going to be coming in and out of one of these two uh, depots. So if we're replacing a train, we have to buy a new one and send the old one in. That could take a while, especially once we get over here. Now, this map isn't that big. I mean, it ain't small, but it isn't that big. And I have no idea how we're going to get a train into Pontiac here. Ouch. That's going to be tough. Um, but I will actually, one of the other things that you guys haven't, oh, the save didn't happen. I, I thought I did that. But I guess not. I guess it didn't save. I'm going to be putting a port right here uh, with a road connection. Now, that'll actually start using the tram station a lot more. At least I would hope. And so I got a little excited when the hovercraft came out because I'm going to send them over to city number one, which is being renamed 
when you guys comment with the answer to the question I asked earlier and I will put it through again before we end today's vi uh, video and uh, city number two right over here I will have another uh, port and I will have another at city number five Ooh, that's gonna be a little bit of work now I'm thinking about putting one here in Harden uh, but can we get no we can't get a boat through there darn uh, I kind of wish you could use all these rivers now unfortunately you can't but it would be pretty nifty so if I, I can't remember who developed this map but if they are watching please um, Put out an update where you can use all these rivers because that would be pretty stinking cool and here's an auto save which is perfect timing so before i leave y'all just to remind you about that contest uh, what i'm looking for is give me a quick second whoops this area right here Obviously, I renamed this from the what was on the map. And what I'm looking for is how did I come up with these names? What are the references? Is it? Uh, please put the answers in the comment section below. I'm giving you Fort Riggs. That's pretty obvious. It, I named it after me. I know, pretty vain. Trying to say, gotta have gotta have something that makes uh, this channel meaningful, right? Or this series. Uh, so where did I get the names Bottleneck, Farmington, Silverado, Rampart, Deadwood, Perfection, and Tombstone? Put your answers in the comments section below. And before you leave, if you haven't done so already, make sure you like this video. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss the next one. You don't, you want to be here for the full series. Am I right? Or am I right? So until the next one, folks, y'all have a good one.